the acidity or the gastric acid in the stomach and it does this by either increasing the pH or it helps reduce or block the secretion of acid by the gastric cells to help reduce the acidity in the stomach. The four major antacid drugs that we need to know for the NCLEX would include aluminum hydroxide gel, which is amphigel, magnesium hydroxide, which is malox, famotidine, which is pepsid, and ranitidine, which is Zantac. Now let's look at the effects of antacids to our patient. Now with antacids, we basically have them in three groups, right? Three basic forms, which are um, aluminum, magnesium, and calcium based. So with aluminum, such as aluminum hydroxide, such as malox and mylanta, it causes the patient um, constipation. Now take note that long-term use of aluminum compounds could also um, deplete the patient's body of calcium. On the other hand, magnesium-based antacids, such as milk of magnesia, causes diarrhea. And this is due to the fact of, um, of it having a high, obviously, uh, amount of magnesium content. And magnesium is a laxative effect, so it causes the person to have diarrhea. Now, lastly, we have the calcium um, carbonate compounds, right, um, such as um, Tums. And it can cause our patients to have constipation. Now, let's talk briefly about histamine 2 receptor blockers or H2 blockers, right? Um, to simplify this, we can basically say that these drugs block the release of hydrochloric acid in the stomach in response to gastrin. So overall, what it does is it basically decreases the production of gastric acid from the parietal sauce within the stomach. These drugs are usually used as a treatment for um, duodenal ulcers. It can also be used as a prevention for stress-induced ulcers and maybe an acute GI bleeding. Um, it's usually um, also used as a treatment for GERD or reflux disease. And it can also be used to relieve symptoms of um, acid indigestion. Now, an easy way to remember H2 to see more videos like this or check out other NCLEX resources that can help you review for your NCLEX exam, please visit allnursingnotes.com. That's allnursingnotes.com or just click the link below.